Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. Today we're going to be looking at the topic being a new mom. Now we're joined by the founder of New Moms Hub and the New Moms Hub is an online support um, where they give community for moms and they discuss everything pregnancy, motherhood and family life. Today we're joined by the founder Adedayo Tosin Olufemi. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Olive. Well, now, this is very you. interesting, you Thank know, you. being a new mom is something that a lot of women have to go through at some point in their life or the other. And it's a, it's, it can be a little bit challenging. So we're going to be explaining the challenges. But I'm particularly concerned as to why you decided to start the New Mom Hub. Okay, thank you. Um, I had my baby about a year and a half ago, and um, pregnancy was pretty smooth for me. It was easy, basically. And I thought the transition to motherhood was going to be exactly the same, but... Believe you me, it wasn't. And um, the struggle started from the hospital. I didn't lactate for, I think, three or four days. And this was me that I already wanted to breastfeed exclusively for six months. And I didn't lactate for three, for three or four days. So my, my baby was there taking formula, and I was hating myself. And I was thinking, I didn't prepare my body enough. Was there something I could have done to lactate easily? Because I just see breastfeeding mom snap um, the button and they breastfeed. So I thought it was going to be that easy, but it didn't come that easy for me. It didn't come that natural for me. And um, I went online like every average mom would do, and I kept searching. And the thing, everything I found was either foreign, that I didn't really find anything that was locally relevant to me as a Nigerian mom. And I felt, okay, I just wanted to document my journey for the next mom, uh, the different faces. My, I had my mom and my mother-in-law around for, I think about five weeks or six weeks. And after they left, my baby had colic. And I didn't know what colic was. And I went to like four hospitals in one week because of colic. I mean, it's just colic. Now I can say it's just colic. But then it felt like the boy was dying. Every little rash looked like a flesh-eating problem. Every little cough looked like asthma. So I just wanted to really document my journey. And I mean, every other mom that's... Every other new mom can learn from whatever it is I've gone through. We know the journey is different, the struggles are different, but some things remain constant in motherhood. So I just wanted to share my story. And, and how's was, the reception been? It's been fabulous. Mm -hmm. Funny, in the first week, I think we grew by 2,000 or 3,000 followers organically. And I felt, okay, it looks like there's something here. Um, so basically what I did was I know that I don't know enough as a new mom. So I partnered with um, about seven different experts. So a lactation expert, gynecologist, a fertility expert. So I have like seven people I actually work with. So when I receive questions, I can't answer. I just pass it on to them and say, oh, um, this mom is going through this. What do you think she should do? How can you advise her? How can you help her? And that has really helped the community. So we are about um, 10 months strong and about 5,000 followers strong on Instagram. Okay. Facebook is about 40k as well. Great, great, great achievement, I would say. Yeah. So what are the major challenges that women who contact you, what are the major things that, you know, they tell you are their challenges as new moms? Okay. Um, the most common is rash, which is common to newborn. So a week after you have your baby, you see rashes all over your baby. I mean, it can be melia, it can be milk rash, it can be anything. It can be each rash. But because you just had a baby, you don't even know what it is. I remember I kept going back to the hospital every time because of rashes. Like every little rash, I would go back to the hospital and the doctor would be like, calm down, it's fine, it's just rashes. So rashes is one of the most common things that new moms complain about. Colic is the second one. Titin is the demon. So almost every mom, once you get to that four, four months or six months, the next thing is my baby is not eating, my baby is throwing up, my baby is doing this, my baby is doing that. Um, could it be teething? There are a lot of things, there are a lot of myths that once your baby starts stooling, you assume it's teething. So, I mean, the most common things I receive are rashes, colic, um, teething, breastfeeding, lactation, the same thing I faced, the same issue I faced, lactation. Um, what else? I think just the general fear of not knowing what exactly to do. Like, we just wing it. We leave it there as it comes. Okay, so what about our old methods for new moms? Now, we know that traditionally, depending on the tribe involved, yeah. now there's always the method for the Igbos when it's time for your mother to come for a mugwa. Mm -hmm. There are things they would tell you that you should do for a newborn baby. And they mm -hmm. would tell you, oh, this is supposed to work. This is definitely going to work. And then some people say that they try it out and then it doesn't. Yeah. Now, what, wh how do you, is there any form of mixture between the old times, the things that apply, 
and the new things you have discovered in your time. And also, has there been any time that you actually discovered that what happened to you wasn't the same thing that happened to the next mom, even though you tried to teach your methods to them? Yes, definitely. Um, I think the first one that comes to mind is pressing of the stomach after delivery. Um, it's been for ages and they press your stomach with hot water mm. and tell you you have fat stomach <laughs> if you do that. Uh, that was not my reality. Um, the new moms now, we know that there are things you can do, even though it won't go back to the way it used to be, but there are now things you can do immediately you have your baby. Did you? Um, sit baths, so you can like have warm water, you sit on it with salt in it, that helps the blood come out easily instead of actually using hot water to like massage. Mm. Um, I know I did that massage for like a week or something and I was like, I can't take this pain, it's, wow. it's not for me. And I went to the hospital and I was like, guys, okay, what is the way forward? And they said, okay, do this, do this, do this. Um, get a girdle for your stomach. And my, my stomach is pretty, it's not very flat, but I think- You've done a good job. I've done a good job so far. So uh, that's one that comes to mind. Colic is another thing. Um, they tell you use gripe water or use this or use that. Colic, is it um, when the baby is? Um, so when the, the belly button is healing, there's, there's some yes, and it makes baby like cries gas. Constantly. Yes, baby. like gas and all of that. And um, so, how do you know that the baby has colic? So, um, the doctors define colic by three rules. If your baby cries consistently for one hour every every day for what, at least one week, um, then if your baby is like raising his leg, his or her legs to the stomach and rumbling like there's something wrong with the stomach mm. and after that you hear gas you hear the baby release gas you know okay my baby is suffering from colic um i remember i went to the first hospital and they told me it was colic and i didn't believe them i went to the next hospital i think i paid about twenty-two thousand naira just to see the doctor and wow. after seeing the doctor he said it's colic i'm like can i get my twenty-two thousand naira back <laughs> and i went to the next hospital and it was still colic and the doctor called me he was like are you a new mom i said yes i said okay I see at least five new moms every day because of colic. I'm a doctor, believe me, your baby is fine. He will be fine, just give it a few weeks and he'll be all right. Um, and I was like, okay, so what exactly do I do to help him? I can't watch him like this in pain. And it was like, just cycle his legs. So when the thing starts, it usually starts late in the evening, so from like five, six p.m. It's just funny how the time works with the baby's body. Just cycle his legs in bicycle motion till you hear the gas to help him release the gas faster. Um, talked about that. Then massage, like stomach massage till the gas comes out. I mean, these were things our own moms and the old moms, not old moms, but I mean, moms that are not like new moms, new generation yeah. moms. These were things they didn't know and it was all gripe water and just give the baby gripe water and the baby is fine. But I mean, these are like simple things you can do in the house to make your baby feel better. Same goes for teething. So it's, oh, use titin powder. I mean, titin powder is the thing, is the norm, it used to be the norm. But now we know that with teeter, your baby can be all right. So all you have to do is just freeze the teeter for a bit and let the baby like chew on that frozen. It suits the pain. So I, I, I did use titin powder for a while, but it didn't really work for me. So um, I asked some of the experts I work with and one of them, God bless her, Dr. Rashida, she was like, look, just do this, do this, do this, and your baby will be all right. And I did, and it's perfectly fine. And I've been able to pass this knowledge on to other new moms in my so community. Brilliant. So this is, like, <laughs> this is, it's a brilliant innovation. I'm not a mom myself, but I know I've always heard titan powder, titan powder oh. as well. But to hear this is very interesting yeah. as well. Let's talk about, you know, the Nigerian, is the Nigerian, would you think that the Nigerian society is set up to make life easier or more complicated for the, for the new mom. Now, I'm asking because we find that some people become moms and then they're complaining about how, they say it takes a village to raise a child. Mm -hmm. The people are telling you, this is no, this is what you should do, this is what you should do. And it's just like confusion of ideas thrown everywhere at you and you don't know exactly what you should do. So would you say that our cultures and our tradition have been set up in such a way that it can be a tad confusing for new moms? Or would you say, oh, it's, it's perfect for new moms? It's definitely not perfect for new moms. I mean, they used to say it takes a village. Now I say it takes an e-village. Because even the community we grew up in does not exist anymore. When we had neighbors that could like come in and say, oh, take care of that child for me. Now you probably stay in your flat or you stay in your duplex and you're all alone as a new mom, to be honest. And for the confusion that comes from everybody giving you advices, um, it's, it's, it's not the best because this person will tell you use this, this person will tell you use that. Before you know it, you're using like five different drugs over the counter for a newborn which is not ideal. So your baby has flu. I mean, that's another common problem that babies have. 
your baby has flu or cold. Um, there's the hot water therapy that you can do, which means you just fill your bath with hot water and you take your baby into the bath, not into the bath itself, but into the bathroom. So your baby can inhale um, the steam. The steam right and before you, by the time you come out, your baby is sweating and all the mucus dislodges. But before, they will tell you, go and buy something over the counter, go they and tell you to suck out, or suck, suck it out. out. I've not done that. My baby is one and a half. Thank so. you. <laughs> you know, we were having this argument. It looks like I've been waiting for that. No, they say that if, <laughs> as a Nigerian mom, you know, you cannot survive if you don't suck it out from your baby. Not like I'm saying that if that's <laughs> what my child needs, I wouldn't do it. But I, I figured there had to be some other way. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I was open to doing that till I found an easier route. And why not take it? So... Now I know this works. I've seen like several moms in my community that have done it. So the easier route is taking the baby into the room with steam. Steam. Mm. And by the time your baby comes out, it's all sweaty and the mucus dislodges and it's fine. Okay. So, so le let's, let's talk about a very important part of being a new mom, lactation. Yes. yes. Now there have been people who have said, I know somebody who had, she had three children and the first two, it was hard to lactate for two weeks. Yeah. Now the third child took, milk for two weeks and after two weeks just said i don't want any more <laughs> in baby voice right. so what are the things that women can do when it comes to lactation for those who have difficulty lactating it actually depends on what is causing the difficulty so they are like different things it could be blocked ducts so if your nipple is blocked then it takes like constant massaging of the nipple to help it they um, compress so you can use like warm water in mm. a washcloth and use it to compress to help also, foods that have grains, like rice, grains generally help boost um, lactation. And also, there are a lot of lactation experts now that we can talk to that can help. Very true. Mm. Now, I, there's so much I want to ask you with regards to new moms, most especially with regards of combining being a new mom and having a career. And I, hopefully, if we have um, time left, you can answer that in a few seconds. But I know that you have a new mom conference, new moms hub conference coming up. Uh, tell us about it. Um, so apart from the mother who struggle, I also noticed that some of the women in my community have like financial struggle and that was how I came up with this empowerment conference. So what I've done is I've spoken to like top brands and they are partnering with me on this conference. They are coming to train moms on different things. So like fashion designing, makeup, um, baking, interior decoration. Nice. Um, so you just come in if they pick you as a winner. It's like intensive training, it's like six months long training. And if you get, if you're like one of the best performers, you get to win like makeup goodie bags from them to start your own business. So it's, I mean, one of the major complaints I get is also oh, now I'm a full housewife because I have a baby, my life has ended. No, your life has not ended as a new mom. There are things you can do, there are skills you can learn. If you don't want to juggle career, you can become an entrepreneur. So that's what I'm trying to do with this empowerment. Conference. So how do people get to be a part of it? Um, it's happening on the 1st of May. That's two days time uh, at Neka House, Agidingbe. All you have to do is just come to the venue, register the entrance for any. So once you get there, you will see like the boxes. So you can just drop. If you want to learn makeup, you drop your tally. <clears throat> You'll be giving tallies. You drop your tally into the um, makeup box. And once it's time for the raffle, if you get picked for the makeup training, then you win. It. And it's an entirely free event. Free, mm. totally free. free. You know, whatever we can do to make life better for one another, we must constantly and continually push ourselves to do. But thank you for what you do for new moms. I want to ask you about the part of juggling, you know, being a new mom and a career. Yeah. I'm hoping that you can chip in something for a few seconds as we wrap up the show, but let's look at what's happening today in history. All right, um, today in history, where we have here that the Berlin Wall started coming down in 1990. Wrecking cranes began tearing down the Berlin Wall. Um, and also on this day in history, made a meant in, sorry, the spokesman Jomo Gombo said that a campaign will start on the 31st of May to save Christianity in Nigeria from annihilation through bombings of extremists in um, extremist institutions. institutions. So Mend in made a move in the Niger Delta on this day in history in 2016. Very quickly before we let you go. For those who are afraid of, you know, their life after having a baby, what would you say to someone who wants to be an entrepreneur or has a career and just had a baby, but they don't know where to start next? Get help, get support. Support system is key. You can't do it all on your own. Either get a, you get, either get a nanny or you put your baby into a crash or your mom is available or just get support. Get somebody to assist you and the journey will be easy. All right. Thank you so much for thank joining you so us. Much, How can people follow you on social media? At New Moms Hub.
Thank you very much for joining us today. It's been an amazing show. We'll be back again same time tomorrow. Remember to follow us on all our social media platforms. Esther? Esther one quant is official. And follow me at Olive MOD. And remember that if you're a new mom or you know a new mom that needs some sort of skill acquisition for free at New Moms Hub conference is happening on Wednesday. For more information, follow them on Instagram at New Moms Hub. We'll be back again tomorrow. Until then, have yourself a jolly Monday night. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.